hello lovelies welcome once again to this channel thanks so much for clicking on this video if you are new here make sure you click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials so in this video we're going to create a YouTube banner that would look similarly to what we have on the screen right now so let's get into the video so the first thing that I will do is we will open a new project and we will set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080 you can leave your resolution in 300 and you click ok when you are done now let's go ahead and add a gradient to the work so I'll select this particular gradient here you can take the figures from this side so I have the figures here so, and then you can copy it out so you click ok and then we're going to make some adjustments here we will change the style to radial and then we're going to change the scale to 240 so we click ok when you are done now let's go ahead and add a picture to it so i'll go to file and i'll go to place i'm going to select a picture that i downloaded from google and i'll place it on top of this whole layer so i'll click ok when i'm done and then I can choose to right click and rasterize. Now let me set this to overlay and then we're going to have something like this. The next step that we are going to do is we're going to add a rectangle to the whole of this thing. So you drag and you draw your rectangle like this. You can press Ctrl A and Command A if you are using a Mac. And then you set it to align horizontal and align vertical so that you have the whole of this thing in the middle of the document. Now, let me change this to a smart object since I don't want anything that I would do on this rectangle to affect the rest of these things. So, I'll go ahead and right click, select convert to smart objects, and then we have this thing here. So, double click on this one and it will take you to a new page. Alright, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add an overlay to this rectangle. So we blend in options and then we set the overlay. Now let's go ahead and choose the overlay that we chose earlier. So we set the overlay and then we click OK. We are going to let the style remain linear and we are going to change the angle to about 84%. Depending on how you want it, you might choose to use another option. So I'll change my scale to 148 and then I'm going ahead to click OK. Now let me insert this image again. So I'll go to file and I'll place the image again. I'll just click place and then I'll expand this to fill the whole of this document. I once again rasterize it and set it to overlay. Now this time around I want it to be a little bit deeper so I'm going to make a copy of it and I'm using Ctrl J. Alright so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add some eclipse to my document over here. So I'll draw an eclipse like this and then I'll change the opacity somewhere 70 55 or any any percentage that we want so i'll place it around this side i'll copy it using ctrl j and then i'll place another one over here let me copy it and then i'll place it here and i'll copy another one and then i'll place it here so i can select the whole of these things and i'll press ctrl g to group it up all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add the channel name so I'll select my test tool start to type anything change the color to white and then I'll type channel name since this is a tutorial I'm using the font a vertical insert afterwards press ctrl T to resize your name so something like this and I'll press ctrl A 
to align it in the center you press ctrl d to deselect this one let's go ahead and add some blending options to this to make it look very nice so right click and go to blending options first of all set the over the gradient overlay sorry and then you're going to maintain this thing the the default overlay you're going to maintain that one click ok and then change the opacity to about 40 percent now the next thing that you're going to do leave everything as it is and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a stroke to it so the stroke we're going to change the size to about 18 and then the color remains black and the position remains outside okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the outer glow and then the color i will maintain fffb and then i'll click ok i'm going to change the spread to about 24 to 25 anyhow you want it and then the size will be around 50 going so it will give you some sort of outer glow over here when you are done just click ok and then you are almost done with your work now let's change this thing over here the name we want to give it a new color so we're going to select only the name and then change the color to to a fd fb all right so you click ok when you are done and then you are almost through with this one so you we'll press ctrl t and then we'll resize it a little bit and then we can position it on top like this so as youtubers we always have to remind our subscribers to subscribe to our channel so we're going to add a subscription notice once again so we select the test and then we we'll write something so subscribe for goodies that is what I am choosing to write most of the time the subscription button is in red so we change it to red and then we can transform it a little bit let me position it in the middle and then bring it down a little bit so let's go ahead and add some blending options to it so the first thing that I'm going to add is the outer glow so I'll maintain the color over here and then the spread will be around 16 and the size around 29 or yeah 29 and then I think that one is okay so I'll just click OK and then I have this whole thing done so this is how to create a very simple channel art for your YouTube so when you are done with this whole thing you just have to press Control S and it will save and it'll it will have to reflect on your other this thing over here so when you clear up this one you should have something very nice like this over here now the final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select a rectangle from here and I'll draw a small rectangle like this so the color is already white and then I'll press ctrl J to make a copy and I'll place it here so that is how to create a very simple youtube banner for yourself i hope this was very easy and this was very detailed for any questions and any suggestions anything like that leave it in the comment section and i'm going to answer it after all these things you can press ctrl s and then you can save it as jpeg on your desktop and then you, you can give it a name so youtube banner and then it is ready for you so when I go on my desktop, I have my YouTube banner over here and this is very nice. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like and leave a comment and God bless you. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.